in 2012, China emitted about 10 billion tonnes of CO2, and that compares to a global total of about 35 billion tonnes of CO2. So China emitted in that year about a third of the world's total CO2, um, and that is increasing. So between 2011 and 2012, emissions actually went up by about 3%. Um, what's important though for China is its emissions intensity and that means the emissions per unit economic output and the emissions intensity in China continues to fall. So it's falling at about 4% per year at the moment uh, and at the moment it looks as though it's on track to meet its 2020 target. China can achieve a really deep decarbonisation by 2050. It does actually need to step up the rate at which it's reducing its emissions intensity so that the reduction in emissions intensity is actually faster than the rate of its economic growth. And that will lead, um, we would expect from analysis that we've done at the Grantham Institute, to a peaking in emissions between 2020 and 2030 and then a reduction to a very low level of emissions by about the middle of this century. Uh, and that would depend on the deployment of a range of low carbon technologies across all sectors of its economy. There are several um, challenges and opportunities for China in achieving this level of decarbonisation. It's worth pointing out three though. First and foremost is energy efficiency. There's going to be a continued and huge urbanisation in China over the coming decades, which has already begun. Um, and there's a real opportunity there to make sure that the building stock and the transport infrastructure is as efficient as possible. Um, there could be very large energy savings and emission savings from that. Um, the second area is deep decarbonisation of electricity. China's still about three quarters dependent on coal for its electricity generation. Um, there are very encouraging signs that it's moving to a real range of renewables and other low carbon sources uh, and it needs to continue that and actually step up those efforts. Um, and then the third area is in switching from coal to other fuels in the other sectors, particularly the industrial sector, which is again coal dependent. And if China can actually develop and deploy resources of gas and biomass in its industrial sector, then it could see a really deep decarbonisation there as well. So it's entirely feasible. It is challenging, but um, the opportunities are there to do this.